a new day, a new project, and a new fix. You see, I have my uh, Roland G600 keyboard, and uh, unfortunately, the volume feather potentiometer it's gone. I can't replace that because I don't have the right parts. But I found a bright new one. It's another form, a little bit shorter, but that doesn't really matter. The point is that uh, this is the original uh, board from Roland. And as you can see, I tried an experiment with some potentiometers to see and to understand how the things are working here. The point is that I can't use this one and I have to improvise another board and it's exactly what I'm going to do right now. Okay, well, it's looking like there is no, this is not a standard, so I have to improvise. So I have a piece of sponge behind or under and just punch holes in and there we go. Now get these wires away. No, it's not really necessary. Okay. Now I have to isolate the tracks here and adapt this because I also need a kind of uh, mechanical so here I'm going to ground anyway that Okay, I know it's looking dodgy, but this will do the job. Okay, let's see. This is ground, absolutely. Okay, this will be one of the terminals. Okay, and we are good to go. Nice. Soldiering iron, flux, and these soldierings will mechanically fixing the potentiometer on the board. Yes, very nice. And now these two are going here and here. Okay, I can use some of these wires. And this one comes here, like this. Perfect. And this one to the other side. Good. And we are good for testing. Let's have this back in place. We should have sound potentiometer here. Perfect job. Okay, so that's it for today. It's dodgy, yes, it is, but it's working. And that's the most important thing. And of course, this needs to go back here with the screws. Let me, let me have the screws in place. And by the way, the display is looking great, the volume is fixed, and we are good to go.
yeah that's it for today i hope it's useful please like and subscribe and i'll be back with some other projects don't forget to have fun bye bye <laughs>